Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about when you act valuable, more people value you. So what I want to kind of get into today is like having a better mindset, a better self-esteem about yourself and learning to value yourself more. Because once you value yourself more and you're more respectful to your own wants and needs, um, that tends to be, and you're more assertive basically, this is when people tend to, um, you know, start valuing you more. And there are ways that you can do this as well. Like, it's not just about mindset as well. It could be, like, the way that you behave around other people. So when it comes to, like, romance and things, especially in the beginning, like, in when you're dating and you're courting someone, it's, 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 you've got to kind of spoon-feed um, the person that you're dating your time. And because when you're scarce, when you're someone who's not around all the, you know, that often, perhaps you only have a couple of nights a week to see them. Um, perhaps you've only got a limited amount of time to talk to them on the phone or to message them and things like that. And when you keep things kind of scarce, right, around you when it comes to romance, um, that's when, um, you know, the other person sees you as more interesting, more mysterious, and they start to value you more. Um, because if you're always, let's say, in someone's DMs and you're always messaging them, you're always in constant contact with each other, you become a bit, you become more novel to them, right? You become a bit of a novelty and um, they basically don't respect you as much. And it doesn't mean they don't respect you at all, but they don't value your time as much because you're in abundance. So what you want to do is you want to become rare, you want to become scarce, kind of like, um, you know, Pokemon cards, right? Like like a, the first edition shiny Charizard. That's kind of how you want to see yourself. Um, and Or some other kind of like rare collectible that you may know about, like a, a stamp or something, or like a really fancy stamp that there's not many been printed off. You've got to see yourself as that, right? Especially when you're, you know, you first start dating someone. Obviously, when you get into a relationship, you know, you're obviously, you know, you, you become more familiar no matter what, because you're living together, you're doing all sorts of things together. Now, of course, it's good to have time apart. You know, it's important to have time apart, you know, uh, when you're in a relationship. Um, but it's, it's a lot easier to do basically at the beginning of the courtship. And it's more important to do it at the beginning of the courtship. Um, it's, yeah. So the way that you do that, obviously, is by, you know, don't you don't message that much, um, you know, uh, you only see them a couple of times a week or just once a week or if at the very beginning um, and you know you cut conversation short when it comes to when you're messaging it doesn't mean that you're cold and it doesn't mean that you're being mean to them um, you always be happy and always be positive when you're talking to them obviously you always please 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 don't don't if don't be cold to someone that you are trying to get to go on a date with you because if you like them but you're being cold to them um, you know, that's counterintuitive. You want to give positive reinforcement rather than negative reinforcement. Because if you want someone to enjoy being around you, then they have to associate positive emotions to you. And if you're being kind of cold to them and mean to them, then um, they're going to associate negative feelings towards you, right? So you don't want to be negative towards them. You always want to be positive, always happy to talk to them. But you just want to appear as if you're busy, right? You just want to appear like you're someone whose schedule is full, you only have a certain amount of times to message people. You only have a certain amount of time to go out on dates with people. You know, so you've got to be kind of give off that kind of presence. Like, I'm a busy person and um, I, I don't have all the time in the world to message you every day. You know, and every minute of every day, whatever, right? So that's why you cut conversation short, right? Get to the point as well when you're in your messages. Um, you know, when you're dating someone... Try and just use Messenger and when you're phoning people up to um, facilitate making a date with them and being very concrete in those plans. You know, get to the point, basically. Don't try to get to know them over Messenger and online and things like that because it's better to get to know someone in person. So that's kind of how you do that <clears throat> um, uh, when you're dating and stuff and how you use the phone and how you use Messenger and online apps and things like that. You know, just use it for getting, to, for meeting up, basically. Use it as, like, a scheduling thing, how to schedule things and events with people. Like, hey, when are you available? You know, and then they give you when you're when they're available, you know when you're available, and then you're like, great. It seems like you're available on Friday, I'm available Friday, let's do something on Friday. Uh, and how about we meet at this time, at this place, being very concrete about it. It's better to just, and then when you've made the plans, basically, then you fizzle the conversation out and you say, 
about I can't wait to see you on Friday. See you then. And then, bye. <laughs> you know, that's it, right? Because you know you've, you've made plans, so you're going to be up then, right? So that's how you appear more valuable. You appear more valuable by limiting your time with them and cutting conversation short on line messenger and things like that. Um, if you want to... <clears throat> another thing as well, if you want to appear more valuable, you know, is your mindset, right? So if so if you're on a date with someone, right, and they order a fish and chips or chicken tikka masala or... Um, I don't know, but if they, they order something, right, but you are in a, a bit of an agreeable mood and you want approval from them, don't order the same food, right, don't order the same drink that they're ordering, look at the menu when you're out with them, it could be the drinks menu, it could be the food menu, it could be, you know, whatever, order what you want, order what you want, what you like, don't order something just because it's easy and convenient because that's what the other person has done, if you take a few more minutes to decide, then fine, but don't just go with what they're doing. Don't just have what they're having because it, it, it makes you look like you, you're not your own person, basically. But you know what you like. You know what the kind of foods you like. You know, what, you know, so go with what you want, right? And if they say to you, oh, why don't we go to a cocktail bar, bar afterwards, this, and you don't like cocktail bars, or they say, oh, let's go to the nightclub, but you don't like clubbing, then be like, no, I don't want to go there, right? Just just be honest, right? If you don't like doing the things that they suggest, then say that and say like, no, how about we do this instead? How about we go for a walk? Or how about we go to this restaurant? Or how about we go to the cinema? Or how about we go for a meal or go and get some ice cream at this place or something, right? So another part of valuing yourself and be appearing more valuable is knowing what you want and going for what you want and saying what you want, and staying true to that, and not trying to be agreeable and pleasing other people just because you want them to like you, right, you have to be yourself, and this is the case with friends as well, and family members, you know, don't just do what everyone else is doing, if you don't like what's going on, and you'd rather be doing something else, and what they're doing is basically something that you hate, then don't do that, do what you want, now sometimes obviously you have to make compromises with people, um, it could be the case that they really, really want to go and see this film, but you're going to hate it, but, um, you know, you've made a compromise, like they'll go to the restaurant that you want to later, then maybe that's an okay compromise. Sometimes you have to compromise, especially if it's something that's really important to your friends and family or whatever it may be. But generally, if you feel like you're going to be spending a lot of money on something that you don't want to do, then don't do it. Don't do it. Respect and value yourself, right? Um... So another way to to be to appear more valuable, obviously, is to, you know, keep yourself well-groomed, dress in a nice way, especially if it's, like, matching what's going on. Like, if you're going out on a date, don't just turn up in sweatpants, right? You know, dress to impress, basically, but dress in a way is also that it impresses yourself. Like, wear something that you feel confident in. So if you feel really confident, you know, wearing, um, like, a suit and having your hair slicked back or whatever, then wear that. If you feel confident in like a really cool shirt and jeans, then wear that. <clears throat> if you're a woman and you feel really confident in a cocktail dress, then wear a cocktail dress. If you feel if you're a woman and you feel really confident in a skirt and a um, leather jacket, then wear that. Right? Um, you know, so dress in a way that you feel cool, that makes you feel sexy, whatever it may be, and that makes you feel you know like you're a million bucks basically. If you feel really cool and feel really good and, you know, um, it makes you feel really empowered, then wear those clothes. So wear what makes you feel confident, what makes you feel comfortable, um, and makes you feel good about yourself, basically, right? Sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be comfortable. Sometimes you can wear clothes that are uncomfortable, but it makes you feel really good. Like, for example, um, you know, I don't really particularly like wearing skinny jeans, um, like when I'm at home, but I go out and wear them, at, you know, I don't particularly find them comfortable, but I like the way that I look in skinny jeans, basically, so I wear that because it makes me feel something about myself, um, now I don't like wearing it when I'm at home, but I like wearing it when I'm out, because it makes me feel, um, it just makes me feel better about myself, basically, so that's what essentially I'm trying to put across here, and that's the ways, you know, basically how you can, you know, if you act more valuable, then, and it's in, it's in your head as well, like it's not just a, the way that you dress, it's something that you exude, like it's a, it's a mindset basically, I am a valuable, worthwhile person, right, 
and that's kind of like your mantra and you are you are as well like it's not it's not a bs thing like for example especially if you live here in the west if you were to go missing you know there'll be helicopters searching for you there'll be search parties out there for you um you know the police will be you know may open an investigation all for you just for you right um so that's what you are a valuable person and you are worthwhile to society otherwise we wouldn't have the, these resources that would come and try and save you if you know you're in danger you know that's why you know an ambulance if you called for one would come within 10 minutes you know or 20 minutes sometimes right <clears throat> but they're on their way these resources are on their way to you and they're there for you because for whatever reason society sees you and um the government sees you that your country sees you as a valuable person and that's because you are a valuable person so see yourself that way because that's exactly what you are all right so thank you so much for watching and i shall talk to you again very soon goodbye guys